Okay, today I'm going to review Oster's four times more durable 12 inch electric skillet. This is my second go around. This one I'm going to give a lot more detail. I've had it since April 2015. It's January 2016 now. And I use it almost every day. Uh, it comes with a lid. And you see I'm cooking something right now. And if you're interested, it cooks most heavily right around that little circle where the heating element is. You'll see it pop up in a minute. This is just some something I cooked from scratch. Took about three minutes to get it to a boil on high level. Uh, as you see, I have this little white thing over here, a little tab. I wish they would design it where you could tell when you plug it in which side to put it on because the two handles look identical otherwise so I'm going to take it off the burner and if you just want a quick rating I give it an excellent rating but I'm going to show you a few little things about it once I pull it out uh, let me show you one more thing before I unplug it actually when you put it when you well let me show you from here the one thing I don't really like about it that much not crazy about where it says simmer and stuff like that there's a real fine trigger line there's not much room between boil and not boil of, of water basically anything's pretty much boiling at water anyways water temperature so you just got to keep eye on that if you walk away for too long you can scorch your food and stuff like that but that's kind of a minor issue because I'm mostly eating out of the pan it's great if you want to eat out of it come back heat, heat it up when I eat out of it I put this on the bottom and I put the metal spoon on top of this so I don't scratch the bottom of it too bad but I'm going to show you a few little things over here by the sink okay, I'm going to pour my food out first off just so I can show you the bottom of the pan after four well, actually, it's eight months worth of work of, of use. Well, I got it flipped upside down. Um, for some reason, these things right here corroded these screws after eight months worth of use. These two didn't. Uh, the handle became weak, and I'm going to show you why, I think. If you, set, if you set it down in the sink, for this type of sink, I mean, people have different sinks, but the handles catch right here in the corners of the sink and it kind of presses up against the skillet so what you might want to do when you clean it is prop prop it up with something to get where the handles don't touch the edge of the sink and then you clean it out I'm gonna clean it out and show you the bottom of it I love it a hundred times better than a Teflon pan the Teflon pans that I had before this I use pretty much every day. I use pretty much every day also those Teflon pans and they peeled all the time. I mean it just tasted I don't know if it tasted like Teflon but this material it's kind of almost like glass or ceramic like it says. And I'll show you the wear and tear after eight eight months. See a little you might see a little bit of chipping but that's probably my fault because I don't always hundred percent use you know the Teflon stuff spatula is like you're supposed to so but I give it an A plus rating uh, here's the bottom of it like I say I put this little tab on there because you can't always tell what side that on from the top view and I, I just want to get going and cooking I don't want to deal with look, bending over and looking every time but otherwise I give it a great rating thanks for watching hit like if you like it